Once again, you are in the right place. Julio's Kitchen Vancouver is here, and today's dish, I'm bringing you something very practical, very simple. As you can see, all the ingredients that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make you a grilled salmon, asparagus, and I am gonna use those uh, lemons to make uh, just a simple lemon butter sauce. Nothing else, salt and pepper, all right? We're gonna use these uh, cherry tomatoes. Cause we're gonna just uh, put them on the grills, you know, until they get caramelized. Some chopped parsley, very fine, because it's gonna be a good looking dish, very fine, good looking dish. So you the chop, you know, chop the, uh, uh, actually, no, cilantro, sorry. In here is just some uh, garlic butter. Simple, you can make it, garlic and butter. You let it, uh, with this weather right now, it will melt so fast. And you know what? Yes, I know I should be, uh, what's it called, uh, making this show uh, outdoors. But you know what? Outdoors is, is too hot. I'm not outdoor. Uh, I'm still protecting myself with all this thing going around. Anyways, so it's my choice. It's your choice. Whatever you want to cook, I'm just teaching you how to do it. Okay, there we go. So this is it. It's a, a, a salmon on asparagus in lemon butter sauce and all the elements. It's a simple dish, you know, it's gonna look beautiful. On this side, I will uh, see if I can move my camera right here. See, I'm working with that. There's a pad, I have the pad ready. Do the uh, the lemon sauce. And over there is the grill, okay? I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work. Stay with me, thank you so much. Am I missing anything, Julio? What was you get the salmon, asparagus, cherry tomatoes, lime, garlic butter and cilantro and this is all we need i see you in a bit and to my lemon sauce okay see you later. okay so i'm back lemon butter sauce simple lemon all right butter sauce i have almost a hundred grams here of butter okay and yes we're gonna use it all guys but you know what you're not gonna put this all on a piece of salmon, okay? We're just gonna use a little bit of sauce, right? You get the idea, just a topping, right? And that, uh, cause I know, I know, everyone these days like, oh, too much, too much, too come on, too much. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, okay, how do we do it? All right. So, I'm gonna squeeze that, ah, uh, you know what I did wrong? There you go, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just, just quickly cut. The technique, it, when you squeeze with a squeezer, cut the areas of surrounding me. I'm gonna show you. Stay with me, bury me. This is what I'm talking about. See, technique. Cut it. Now you can put it on the squeezer, right? I forgot. Hey, it's Julio's Kitchen. It's okay. You make mistake. Why? Because when you press, the you will squeeze down. Like, literally, yes. Here we go. Let's see, can we use this one or? We're gonna use just half of it. Cause I don't wanna make, I don't want too much, like, you know, I don't wanna scare you guys too much. So take a little, uh, you know, the seeds out. And then we can start working with the, uh, there you go. We turn the heat on, there you go. So when this comes to a boil, a little boil, and you know what, I think I'm gonna make the whole uh, butter thing, okay? I'm gonna put the whole thing. Stay here with me, guys. You know, this is your kitchen, Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. And now you can take All right. So you probably are asked now, how do I change uh, procedures there you go why not it's called a lemon butter sauce right so let's use a lot of it so here this is the trick uh, as in people would might think oh yes we have the lime let's add the butter no if you add the butter your sauce is gonna break so the trick is here, that let it simmer a little bit. Let the uh, lime become to a, a, a temper, temperature, higher temperature, and that way we can start adding the uh, our butter, okay? I'll see you in a bit when that is happening. 
okay as you can see our lemon is simmering now now this is very interesting don't put the whole part of the butter just put one little piece and start with it this is trick turn the heat down a little bit because this is a sauce on the making so don't stop the process of, of um, whisking it. Look on. There you go. Because this is will create uh, the butter, right? If you just sit it there, it'll break. Believe me. So there you go. Keep adding, keep adding. Let's see. One more, one more. Yeah, little by little. I hope it's, you know what? When I see the videos, when I'm doing this process, they go blurry, and I, I don't like them. But you know what, this is Willis Kitchen, right? So what can we do? Uh, there we go. So more, 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 more. Ah, uh, keep adding the butter, there you go. So you will see the consistent of the butter, right? It, it will be like, oh, nice. Keep doing it, keep doing it. You know what, it takes time, but don't let it go, don't let it go until, yes. Look at that beautiful creating. And it's slowly, slowly, just keep adding butter, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying my shows. Uh, you know what, uh, last week I didn't make anything because uh, literally I was busy. I, I had to uh, tend to work and, you know. But you know, when I'm here, I'm here, right? It's my real, my hobby and a lot of people has asked me like, Julio, why don't you, why don't, it's just, I don't know, I mean, I enjoy being here. You know, and, and and cooking and, and you know it's just me and yeah so thank you so much uh you know i will thank again uh, bill uh good buddy mark from work wow i'll show you i'll show you right now i have some uh, saffron yeah, i'm in love with saffron it's uh it's an amazing uh, uh ingredient you have oh there you go okay more butter more butter please please julio and that's it we're almost done okay So there we go. I should have stopped the video and I showed you the whole bottle, okay. But you know who cares, right now it is. It's, it's a long video, I don't know. Look at the consistency. That's a butter, my friend, butter sauce, okay. And now, what we're gonna do is this. Just to put the finishing touches, right? And to the heat, a low, 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 very low. So now, we do like this. To your taste, pepper. And also to your taste, salt. If you have salted butter, you know, remember that. If you don't, remember that. I, okay, and now I have cilantro here. You can use parsley, basil, any type of herbs you like. And look at my friends, this is a beautiful lemon butter sauce. And this is what I'm gonna use for my salmon. All right, see you in a bit. Yes, you know me. This is Willis Kitchen, Vancouver. Uh, I, the, you know, I tasted it. It's amazing. Like little simple butter sauce. Okay. But this is me, right? This is my food. This is my salmon. So, and that's your salmon. You do whatever you want. But I'm going to do this. Look. Hot sauce. Cholula. Should I do this one? Or should I do a... Uh, Diablo has a look at that guy he looks mean right so anyways which one should I use I'm gonna use a little bit of Diablo the hot sauces right so just ooh, a, eh, come on you don't be, yes there you go I mean yeah I, I tasted the uh, sauces before putting it on but so uh, Diablo it means like it looks very mean but no the sauce is just a flavor it's not that spicy come on guys so you use whatever is spice. See, the, even the color is changing. So there you go. We have a different sauce now, right? So this is it. Okay. I see you in a bit with the salmon. Asparagus. Woo! I'm back. Yes. Grilling time. Oh, God. Look at that. See? What a big mistake. But it's okay. This is Julio's Kitchen. Banco. Wow. The top came off. Not good. Gonna remove all that oil, that's too much. Okay. We're just gonna take it out of the heat right now. 
and just remove some garlic, just too much. I just want it to, uh, wow. There you go. And you know what? Uh, I'm gonna leave it like that, yeah, because it's a mistake. It just, you know, it happens in the kitchen, right? So, it tells you that, you know what I mean? Like, there you go. It's loose. It came out, so. But anyways, you got the point. Let's get back to the cooking thing. Okay, so we got our, our grill here. The heat is, because you're cooking seafood. Look at this brush. It's, it's, uh, it's a silicone brush. And that means that it won't burn. There we go. It's nice and coated. So, like I was telling you, that, uh, cooking salmon, you're gonna make sure that it's not too hot. It's just sort of like a medium thing. Because it's very delicate, right? You know, seafood. All right. So we got a little pieces right here. So all we're gonna do, and this is, see, because I know now I have it open. So it's just a little touch. Why? Because my hands are very clean, so you want to coat it with oil because you don't want to put it like dry. It'll stick and it'll be like a big mess. So coat it on both sides, just slightly. I use olive oil. This is my oil, whatever. On the other side, as you can see, I'm going to show you. I think this video is going to be very long. I thought it was going to be like very, very short. And on the other side, see, I got the skin on. Why? Because this will uh, uh, keep the meat together while it's uh, uh, grilling or frying or whatever, or baking. So this is very important. And also it gives a, a little bit of a style. To this. So anyways, we're here right now. And also, there we go. We're going to coat it all. Uh, you know why? Why don't I move you here? I'm doing this. Move you here. I'm going to coat it with... There you go. See, nice and coated. And all we're gonna do because yes, I really had a feedback. Yeah, guys, like Julio, in the last show, come on, what happened? You you forgot to put the salt and pepper. You know what I did on my uh, I remember what I did, but yeah, okay. So pepper, and you know what I like it. And thank you so much for uh, um, you know uh letting me know that what I, I do wrong, right? You know, this is the cooking show. So you, yeah, I'm salting it right now, let's get the, yeah. There you go. So it's salted, it's coated with, uh, with oil, and then we move back, okay? Let's, let's, let's do it. All right? So here's, yeah, it's almost ready. And all it is is this. If you have a spatula like this, use it because this is very delicate. Once you put it on, once you put the salmon on, and look at the grilling, it has the marks going one way, right? So if you wanna, if you put it like this, by the time of flipping, it's, you're gonna have trouble. So put it where the marks are going. There you go. I am gonna leave you like that. Okay, and look at this beauty. This is, a, you know what? I, I think one of the best parts of me when I cook is this. When I see the real uh, oil and, and you know turning <clears throat> the different color of the meat and now whatever you cook, right? Not just me. But anyway, I'll see you in a bit. I'm just gonna do the asparagus, and then we're gonna be ready for plating. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. And see, the salmon has been there for probably three minutes. I want to show you something. Uh, it's okay. Don't touch it. Don't touch it too much because it's the skin that is cooking. It's not burning. It's the skin that is out there. Uh, what I want you to look at is, is uh, something. See that color is changing because the salmon now is cooking. When that color flips to that up here, and then you flip it because it's half cooked, okay? So, 
medium heat. Remember, uh, while I'm while the salmon is cooking right now, I'm gonna bring you over there because I want you to uh, take a look at that. Yeah, you gotta multitask in the kitchen. So that's the uh, frying pan for my asparagus, and for that we are gonna use this. Just oh, where's my camera? Oh, right here. A little bit of amount of just garlic butter. Okay. Turn the heat up a little bit. Garlic butter, asparagus. You're working a lot of with butter and, and garlic and, and lemon, right? I don't know about you, but I love garlic. Uh, my grandma used to say, garlic is good for the heart. So, keep listening to grandma. Anyways, so here it is. We got this going right now. And that is there, and all we're gonna do, okay, where my spider? And remember, the salmon is cooking right now, right? So there you go, spargos are very nice and clean. Put them there. And these, my friends, please, make sure you don't overcook them, because they're right. you can eat this uh, vegetable raw acid. It's, uh, I do, I like doing this cooking, 